past this. Okay, so that at least makes some sense. When I update the original distance, I won't want this to be just negative three times right. I want this to be... I actually wonder why this is being shifted with time. I think I may have too many updaters going at once right now. The original arrow tracker is only being used here. So I actually don't get where this is being shifted. It's starting from negative three and it's moving a little to the right each time. <clears throat> it seems like it's this. The original dist arrow is origin then right times the original tracker dot get value. I have to comment out this update to track down where it is. This is a lesson in why to abide by clean code. What is moving that? It must be one of these updates. Still moving. The only thing it could be is... Okay, here, update original. I found it, finally. Okay. Move to original arrow dot gets... Original arrow tracker dot get value. Then it's same y coordinate and zero. So what I want to do is I have time equals this. Then where I want to move it to is, um, I'll say the x offset. It's going to be negative 3 times right plus, um, plus a sinusoid. Okay, and I'll use that for the x offset inst instead of this. I'll just call this y offset. This will be this at 1. Okay. Hopefully, I can't add something. Oh, this needs to be plus right times the sine. And I'd have to take the x coordinates of zero. Let's see if that works any better. I'd actually have to. Okay, if I factor out the right, right times three plus the sine of time. This is a vector pointing to the right. And maybe I can just move to X offset on its own. Negative three and then pi dot sign. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, it didn't crash. And yeah, this is moving how I wanted it to, which is great. Okay, 
Do you think OpenGL Tech will be in the next release of Mana or in OpenGL? OpenGL definitely will be. As for OpenGL Tech, that or an OpenGL. OpenGL definitely will be. As for OpenGL Tech, that mm, maybe not. That might be the one after the next, because that could take some some work to do. All right, now I'm going to have to um, add the rest of these updates. So let me see. Update original was added to the original arrow. So let me just put that here. So that's going to update the original arrow. Then I'm going to update the distance to it. Which is, well, let me see. I want to try to keep this relatively organized. There's the tracker. There's the original arrow updater. Let me declare the distance to the original arrow up here. Okay, so I declared it up here. I'm actually going to make sure that didn't even crash anything. Just to be really safe here. And yeah, that's fine. Then I'm going to update that arrow. And I'm going to have original disk arrow dot add updater. Update, update, original disk arrow. Great. Make sure this didn't break anything. I should probably bring the quality down. I don't really need the higher quality um, for these renders. Okay. I update the arrow to be original dist. I can just, I can get the X offset of the original arrow. Actually, I can just, I can just do the same thing. Well, no, I'd probably be cleaner. I'll just do um, original. Yeah, no, wrong. Daryl Golden, what's up? Uh, original arrow X offset. This can just be whatever I called it. Original arrow. That get center and zero. Then the start is just origin plus diagram shift. I think that's right. And the end is going to be an array, and the x value is going to be the original arrow that. Um, this is shifted down, right? Oh, the y value. Now, even this will have to be shifted. All of this will have to be shifted, so it'll have to be like plus diagram shift. Um, I think this can just be zero, zero. Let's see if that works. Okay, that looks right. I feel like this logic is more complicated than it needs to be, though. Origin. Maybe it's not. No, it definitely is. This should be... Start equals origin plus diagram shift and equals um, left times, or no, not left, but right. And it's original arrow x offset. So 
okay then plus diagram shift i think this is the same thing great and now what i can just do great and now what i can just do no yeah this, this is simple enough that's fine i was thinking maybe i could just do a mod that shift diagram shift at the end and this can just be origin this can just be this that's pretty clean And this is actually simple enough that I can just put it in here. Great, love having simpler code. All right, so that's updated. Uh, so I have the original arrow tracker, original dist arrow. I wonder if I can bring the original arrow. I have to bring the original arrow down, even. So that I'll have it down here. I can add these down here at the bottom of this. Nope. Where did I... Oh, this is true. I do actually have the original arrow. <clears throat> the original arrow has to be defined above that. I guess that's fine. Maybe what I want to do is bring the original arrow here, add them both here, and I can add the lens here as well. Let's see if that's if that works out. Okay. So I have to do colors of the arrow, then it's tracker. I can bring down the image arrow to here. Okay, and I think this is a lot cleaner. I have the original arrow and its tracker. The updater for the original arrow. The updater for the distance to the original arrow. So let me... I'll say um, initialize um, arrow indicating distance to the original. So that's all of this. And this is... Wait, uh, update our original... No, this is updating the... Initialize the original. Or update the original. And this is... Update the arrow. Indicating... The distance to the original. Great. I thought, where is this even? Original dist arrow. Can't this be brought down here? I'm hoping this refactoring pays off later on. Okay, the original arrow and its tracker. Then that distance and its tracker. Right, the stream hangs every 30 or so seconds for one to two seconds. Um I wonder if that's something I can fix. It might not be. Let me see.
Maybe it's just your internet. It might be, yeah. Mm. They do say I've dropped like 8.7% of the frames. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, my internet might just be... They have dropped like 8.7% of the frames. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, my internet might just be... Garbage. This is the only stream that does this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to check. I'll read if there's something that does that. Just like searching the internet, but I don't know why that would happen. It might, maybe I'll have to stream on lower quality or something like that. But yeah, I don't know offhand. But um, but yeah. Thanks for telling me so that I can look into that. Okay, so next I'm going to update the image arrow or the projected one. I have this. Um, this is the updater I used for it. I'm going to have to update the image to lens distance. Actually, I think I won't have to do that anymore. Since that distance... Oh, well, now I will have to com compute that somehow. Let me see. I'll cut this out for now. Object lens distance. That I can just read from the original arrow. So there's the x offset of that. The image to lens distance, I'm just going to use this equation. The magnification, I just use this. The center of the object. Not sure if I'll need that. I actually might. No, probably not. I think I can comment this. Then the image offset. What is the image offset? Image lens just to the object center. I think I won't need this. I just need that image lens disk so that I can put the start on right times the image lens distance. Um, then I have to shift it down later on. Yeah, then I have to shift it down later on. Then I can put this on right times the image lens distance plus down times the magnification plus the diagram shift. Okay, I'll see if that updates the image arrow. And I guess it did. This is this supposed to be that small? I guess I don't know enough about the lens equation to know for sure. Um, but object lens distance, that makes sense. Oh, this is actually a vector. Oh no, because I'm taking the zero coordinate, that's correct. That's correct. That's just a formula. It's like a right times the image to lens distance plus diagram shift to move it down. And then I think this is up, so it'll be upside down. One divided by focal length. Now let me see if I can increase the focal length or decrease the focal length focal but the focal length isn't even defined yet here i 
Wait, where is this added? Oh, this is added down there. Here I'm gonna add it to the image arrow. I'm gonna move up the focal length. Okay, now I'm gonna adjust this and see if I can. Okay, now I'm gonna adjust this and see if I can get an image that moves some more. That was the wrong way. I'm making this two. Still pretty small. Make this three. I think before I had the image or the original one a little further away. So when I'm moving this according to the sinusoid, maybe I'll make this a negative four. Yeah, that helps a little. I'm gonna make this the object lens distance. So if that gets smaller, that'll increase the magnification. Or if the image to lens distance is increased. And this will increase with a smaller, a smaller denominator, which I mean a larger focal length. Well, that's what I've been doing. Okay, I'm going to increase it one more time. Also, I think it's getting too loud again. Okay, that's decent. Wait, where did that go? Oh, well. Um, guess I'm going to just start the lesson in five more minutes. Let's see how much more I can do before then. So I guess the next thing to do is the arrow, the blue arrow indicating that distance. So I bring the focal length up here. Okay, so here's the other arrow. Arrow indicating this. All right. Image lens dist isn't something that I have here because it's computed. I can just compute it again, though. Focal length object lens dist. And object lens dist was this. Okay, so I can just make sure that doesn't crash. And it doesn't. And then actually update it. Here. And this one, the start is going to be origin plus a shift, this will be right times the image lens dist, which is correct. I'll just recompute this. Right times the image lens dist plus a diagram shift. Okay, I'll see if that updates it. Okay, so that did that. So that's all four moving objects updated. And this time, all I'm doing is moving the arrow tracker um, normally. Which is great. That's going to be a lot easier. 
Let's see, I got two more minutes. Let's see what else there is to do. Um, now let me write. Let me do this write animation at the same time. I'll do this and then write of um, description. I don't think 